Florida. It's the middle of November and the rut is on. I've just returned from a great trip to Iowa and had an incredible time out there. And really the whole Wired Hunt team has been having some awesome hunting experiences across Michigan, Iowa, Ohio, all over the place. So today we're gonna take, take a look back at how the end of October into early November went in regards to our hunting season. We're gonna check out some awesome encounters here in Michigan that we had. Um, I saw a lot of mature bucks, more than I ever have before, and Stetson had a great opportunity at a dandy Michigan buck. Well, we are just about to head out for the evening sit. It's uh, the evening of October 26th, it's a Friday, and we had a major cold front hit last night. The temperatures went from the 70s down to the 30s and 40s today, so it should be really good. There's no more beans standing anymore, and the deer were really hitting those, so hopefully now they're in transition to start hitting my food plots a little bit heavier, and I'll be there shoot one of those big old bucks. We'll see. I had some really great encounters at the end of October into early November here in Michigan. In fact, over the course of five days of hunting during that period of time, I had four mature buck encounters, which is really the best I've ever had around here. Um, and I think that this was due to three different things. You know, number one, I really kept the pressure down on my best areas. I waited until conditions were right before I hunted those spots. Now, what were those conditions I was looking for? Well, really, good wind direction and cold fronts. I waited till I had a good cold front, and that first really good one was that weekend of October 26th through the 28th. I went out in the woods that weekend, and the bucks were moving. We just had a buck go walking across in front of us in that swamp. And I can see him, he's bed right now. And he's doing something that a lot of bucks do. A buck is gonna bed down with the wind at his back, and then he's gonna face downwind so that he can watch everything coming from downwind. All those mature buck encounters were on the edges of transitions from cover to food. In this case, it was swamps to bean fields, and that was really the key to my success during that Michigan hunting period. I never was able to close the deal. I had a lot of close calls, but couldn't quite get one close enough to shoot an arrow. But for Stetson, it was a different story. October 26th, it's 5.35, it just got all set up. Decent time to meet, won't be after dark, so hopefully it works out. She was gonna bust me, but man, she come in right under me. Can't believe that. I've ever 
overshadowing camera and you guys all get to see it. Here's what I'm talking about, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go up into the opening. Oh. Dad! See that? Hey, Bumpa! Okay. Follow, follow the blood. Okay, follow. Whenever you see blood, follow, okay? Yeah. See it? Keep following it. Keep going. There's more. this morning but we got my monster I got a pop tart and I got all day to kill so what better to do than sit in the tree Big doe, one of the bigger does I've shot with a bow probably. You know, nothing was following her, nothing ever came in. So after a while, I thought I had a doe tag in my pocket. I might as well, might as well fill the freezer. I didn't shoot anything back up home this year. So uh, this would be a good one to put in the freezer, so. November the 8th. So, that ram cat put a hole in her. Just she went all of like 50 yards, and she's a she's a dandy. The rut's on. It's November 2nd. Looking in this morning, I found a few nice fresh scrapes throughout the woods and on the edge of the field. So, hoping, hoping they'll come running through here. I'm kind of in the middle of the woods, downwind of a bedding area here.
Well, latest report, just talked to my brother, and uh, he's got that big buck, was bedded 100 yards from him, and got up and moved, and it's bedded about 40 yards from him now, so it's getting closer. He's within bow range, just needs to get up and take a few steps. baby love it been on stand since six o'clock this morning watched that buck since eight oh come on go down i can't believe i just shot him oh my god i can't believe it i'm gonna as soon as dustin gets here we're gonna find my arrows and then i'm gonna come in we're still tracking he's got good blood here um definitely bubbles in the blood it looks like a lung hit we reviewed the footage a couple times and um, looks like the deer kicked his leg back as soon as he got hit and it broke that arrow off is what it looks like didn't get a ton of penetration but it's got got pretty good blood so um, about another 60 80 yards here is where we where he lost sight of him next a whole lot of blood We've gone about 200 yards so we're gonna let him lay give him a little past dark My wife's gonna hunt tonight so we don't want to screw that up so hopefully after dark we can find him yeah I'm thinking based on that like to that quarter he just broke it off in there and he's bleeding all internally well unfortunately after a lot of tracking and rutting through the brush and everything. I was unable to <clears throat> recover my split brow nine that I hit. Luckily, two days after I shot him, my wife saw him still running the fields, chasing does, uh, being pretty aggressive towards other bucks still. So unfortunately, I didn't hit him good enough. Shot looked really good, reviewed the footage a lot, and just couldn't couldn't really figure out why he didn't go down um, so it's pretty unfortunate but luckily enough he's still alive and hopefully here coming up in shotgun season I'll get another shot at him and put that big boy down amazing encounters and close calls are really the name of the game of our experiences here towards the end of October and early November in Michigan we never were really able to finish the deal that said the hunting was really awesome and we definitely enjoyed some great success now after that time period, we headed out to Iowa. So in the next episode, we're going to show you some incredible footage from those trips. Um, we had some awesome hunts, and there might have been a dead deer on the ground too. So tune in next time, and good luck hunting. What better way to get ready to go out and hunt for the day than doing dishes and watching a little White Knuckle Productions and Ted Miller. Cooper. Oh, yeah. get a whole lot of sleep last night. I was gonna close my eyes, I, all I could see is that good old rack laying there in the brush. And